We came here. We came here to have a preparatory meeting of the successful planning of Bharat Jodo Nyayatra, which is going to be start from Manipur on 14th of January. You are all aware that All India Congress Committee has decided Bharat Jodo Nyaya Yatra from 14th onwards under the leadership of our former Congress President Rahul Gandhi ji. Bharat Jodo Yatra Rahul ji had conducted by walking 4,500 kilometers from Kanyakumari to Kashmir. It was a historical program in the history of India. No political party or no other political leader has done that type of long walking from Kanyakumari to Kashmir. That yatra was a non-political yatra. Our slogan, you know that, Nafrat ke bazaar mein mohabit ka dukhan golne ke liye. For spreading love and affection. Now this Bharat Jodo Nya Yatra, we are doing from here Manipur to Mumbai by traveling 6,500 kilometers. We are very much, this is for Nya Seeking nyai for youth, nyai for women, nyai for farmers, nyai for poor people. This yatra, the slogan is very clear. This is not a political yatra at all. This yatra is not connected with any election preparations also. We already told that this is a non-political yatra to make a big was for seeking nyai for poor, for women, for youth and for farmers and for other works. Why we are starting this yatra from Manipur? We thought that Manipur also need nyai. Manipur also need justice. The wounds which happened in Manipur has to be healed. But there should be a affectionate spreading message, love spreading message from Manipur for this. That is why we are doing this yatra from Manipur. We are going from Manipur to Nagaland, Nagaland to Assam, Assam to Bengal, Bengal to Meghalaya, then Arunachal. We are traveling around 15 states. This yatra going to be one of the after Bharat Jodo Yatra, this Yatra also create history, will create history. The way in which Rahul Gandhi interacted people through Bharat Jodo Yatra, you see that. When he came to Manipur also, you see that the way in which he interacted with the common people, the people who suffered. This Yatra, we are starting from Manipur to spread the message of love and affection and to need justice for Manipur, that message you are going to. We are having a meeting of our leaders. We will plan it. It is going to be a big success. My PCC president and CLP leader told us now that they are waiting for an approval of this ground from the government of Manipur for the last six, seven days. Finally, Bobiji told that they told today evening they will give a final reply on that. Again, we are telling this is not a political yatra. Don't politicize this yatra by denying these things. We are doing this yatra for future of the Manipur should be ensured. We are doing this yatra for healing the wounds of the Manipur. Whatever we can do, we have to do that. That is the this is, there is no political motive for this yatra. Therefore, I think the government should give permission for this ground tonight itself, then only we can complete our stage preparations and everything. Because you know that it will take 4-5 days. 
there was we think though thought that last time also when rahul ji came you saw that and there think what happened they thought that it, we are going to make it as a political we are no we, we never went to a political statement or so one single political statement we did in make then during the yatra so we only came to give a message of love and affection give a message for manipur manipur is one of the important state of this country the rest of the countries are paining by seeing this manipur i am coming from kerala the people of kerala is also telling how can manipur burning like this so the entire country is pained because of the issues in manipur so we need to have a manipur with the progress with giving maximum job opportunity to the young people of this state so that is why we are doing a very positive yatra so i think government of manipur will give sanction for this maidan to today evening itself that's all sir uh, just one question